I'm going to show you how to put a tube in a lawnmower tire without any special tools. The first thing you'll need to do is let all the air out of the tire and you can use a screwdriver to let it all out if you don't have a valve core tool. Uh, the next thing you'll need to do is break the bead. This is just soapy water. It helps when you're putting the new tube in and when you're breaking the bead. I'm going to use a hammer and a block of wood to break the bead. You just got to work around the edges of the tire. Try not to hit the rim. Now we're going to do the other side. Okay, both sides of the bead are now broke. I'm going to cut the valve stem out with a pair of diagonal cutters. If you don't have these, you can just take a pair of pliers and yank on it and it'll pop out. But I like to do it this way. I like to spray the tube down with soapy water. It's just dish soap and water. It slides into the tire a little bit easier. Now I'm going to put the valve stem up through the hole in the rim and then I'll start there working it around. Now you can just push the tube inside the tire. If it's hard to push down, spray a little bit more soapy water on it. You could even use WD-40 or any other lubricant. It can be hard on your fingers. That does take a little bit of time, but it'll go. I'm going to put a pair of vice grips on the valve stem just so it doesn't push down into the rim. I just make sure you don't clamp them down very tight on it. If you don't have vice grips, you could always have somebody hold it up for you. You just don't want it to push down into the tire. It helps if you push down on this side of the tire and you get the tire down in the groove of the rim. It gives you a little bit more room to get your tube in there. Once you have it the whole way in, make sure none of your tube is sticking up around the bead of the rim where the tire seats it. 
where you could possibly pinch it when you put air in it. Once you get air in it, you can take the channel locks off. These particular tires take 14 PSI, but you may need to put in more just to seat the bead. After you get the bead seated, you can let some air out of your tire. And that's all there is to it. You're ready to put it back on your tractor. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.